Welcome to this Saturday Travel and History Tip. We will be going to the Motorcycle Hall of Fame Museum just outside of Columbus, Ohio. The American Motorcyclist Association operates this fabulous museum. Even if you're not a motorcycle enthusiast, you will no doubt enjoy the exhibits. They start out with some of the very first motorcycles, and I do want you to notice that every motorcycle that's on display is in pristine condition. They have all been reconditioned, no matter how old, to look just perfect. In the beginning, there was the motorcycle. I don't think so. The world's first gasoline-powered motorcycle started life in 1885. It didn't live. I just don't get it. Anyway, as a test bed for an internal combustion engine. Gottlieb Daimler's Reit Wagon riding car set the stage for the smart, inventive, and brave pioneers who followed to create the rich history of motorcycling that is still unfolding today. This replica, somewhat larger than the original, was built here in Ohio. The next exhibit talks about Honda, of course. What's the history? Who are the men behind these designs? All these answers are found at this fabulous museum. Norbert Schickel, the American motorcycling pioneer, 1886 to 1960, as founder of Schickel Motor Company, which opened in Stamford, Connecticut in 1912, Norbert Schickel was part of the motorcycle design boom that occurred in the United States between 1905 and 1915. Schickel's vision and designs were evident in two motorcycles that he developed. He also helped popularize the twist grip control and a patented spring fork front suspension. They may not have been the first of the major American motorcycling companies to produce a model for sale. Indian beat them to market by a few years, but Hall of Famers William Harley, William Davidson, Arthur Davidson, and Walter Davidson Sr. founded in 1903 the most enduring American motorcycle brand. They started in a modest 10-foot by 10-foot workshop, and now, more than 100 years later, the company they started is still one of the largest and most respected in the motorcycle industry. Did you know? Though now a publicly traded company, Harley Davidson is still guided by six senior executives who are descendants of the original Davidsons. It was William S. Harley and Arthur Davidson who motorized their first bicycle in 1903 in a machine shed on the north side of Milwaukee. The men founded Harley Davidson Motor Company, headquartered in Milwaukee. The company became the largest motorcycle manufacturer in the world by 1930. In 2003, over 250,000 people traveled to Milwaukee to celebrate the company's 100th anniversary. You can tour the Wauwatosa and the Tomahawk Plants. The Harley-Davidson Museum is located in Milwaukee, and it is a beautiful place to go. Names like Derek and Don Rickman are immortalized at this exciting museum, with row after row, room after room, filled with all kinds of motorcycles. And they honor their Hall of Famers, like Ricky Carmichael. Few people in any endeavor have ever earned the title of the GOAT, the greatest of all time. But Ricky Carmichael has in his professional motorcycle racing career. Carmichael became the most dominant rider ever in AMA motocross. They had a tribute to the mechanics. This is the largest award a mechanic in the motorsports field can receive. The Master of Mechanics trophy stands as a tribute to all mechanics who seldom have the opportunity to share in the prestige and glory of the winner. Motorcycle sport and the heroes who excel at it is not confined just to narrow categories. From the vertical battles of hill climb and the rock jumping action of observed trials to the visceral launch of drag racing and the outright overworldliness of land speed racing on the Bonneville Salt Flats. There's a place for all in the AMA Motorcycle Hall of Fame. And speaking of Bonneville Salt Flats, we did a Saturday travel and history trip on our visit to the Bonneville Salt Flats. What a place you must go. It's just off Interstate 80 in Utah, right across from the Nevada border. Land speed record racing takes specialized machines, and this motorcycle, built by AMA Motorcycle Hall of Famer Dennis Manning, is proof of that. This machine, Tenacious II, was the first to use his own engine and transmission design. Though it remains the fastest motorcycle in Australia, it didn't beat the then land speed record. It did, however, provide key lessons for the design of Manning's number 7 
Advanced Streamliner, which is currently the fastest motorcycle in the world with a record of 367.382 miles per hour. Unique elements of this machine include the front half of the bike's frame being filled with lead to aid in traction, tires rated for 300 miles per hour, and a one-of-a-kind fiberglass streamlined body. A supremely talented and self-taught designer and fabricator, Dennis Manning, has devoted his life to pursuing the motorcycle land speed record. Multi-time AMA Grand National Champion Chris Carr rode to a world record of the 367.382 miles per hour on the Bonneville Salt Flats in 2009. A motorcycle ceases to be a motorcycle at around 200 miles per hour. At that point, it becomes an airplane. Dennis Manning. Of course, there's the Wheelie King's Throne, and that belongs to Doug Demokas. I thought I would travel the country and have a good time and meet a lot of people. I never thought it would grow to the point that I'd never have to work a job for the rest of my life. Good for him. And then there's Evil Knievel, sort of synonymous with motorcycles. And what's with this x-ray? The quintessential American daredevil motorcyclist, Evil Knievel, defied gravity as he rode his bike to the heights of international fame and increasingly challenging stunts. As opposed to other motorcycling celebrities, Knievel is one of the few main mainstream stars who became famous directly because of motorcycles. During the early 1970s, Knievel was one of the best-known celebrities in the world. His jumps attracted thousands of spectators and millions more watched on television. And we have been fortunate enough to visit where he jumped, the Snake River in Twin Falls, Idaho. You might want to go see the marker yourself. Twin Falls, Idaho, and all of Idaho is a wonderful place to visit. Despite the loss of his legs due to the explosion of a land mine. His vehicle struck while he served as a professional soldier. AMA Motorcycle Hall of Famer Dave Barr overcame those physical obstacles to ride this FX around the world, across Russia and around Australia, across China and across the Gobi Desert alone. Modifications are numerous and most are a result of expedient repairs during his journeys. Note the dirt bike style, front fender, the special seat pad, tip over bars, extra fuel tank, and the patina of wear that comes only with circumnavigating the world. There was a tribute to women in the motorcycle industry, like Bessie Stringfield, Loretta Lynn, hmm, and of course Debbie Evans, World Championship Trials and Movie Stunt Woman. She is known as one of Hollywood's top stunt women as a motorcycle rider and a car driver. Whether it's a Yamaha, an Indian, a Suzuki, a Honda, a Kawasaki, or a Harley Davidson, a Husqvarna, it's all a part of American history. Learn it. Love it. Appreciate it. Don't let them steal our history. Teach children our American history. And next Saturday, High Z Glass Museum, also in Ohio. Hope you watch the Saturday Travel and History Tips. Thank you.